So how do we create a responsive website? Now, the shortest and easiest answer would be we're going to create a bunch of HTML elements and we're going to style them on CSS. Now, but before we do that, let's just get familiar with our workspace. Now, the one thing that we would want to do is actually create a folder, obviously. And in this case, I created a responsive website folder. This is going to be the name of my folder. And over here, you can see that I have the index HTML within the folder. Then I have another folder within this responsive website folder. This is images folder where I obviously have all my images. And you can now see over here that this is this transparent image that I'm going to be using for my logo. Now, after that, I have a font awesome folder where I'm going to be using the font awesome for our icons. And last but not least, we have a CSS folder that has a main CSS file that we're going to be using to style our page. Now, since we're working in the brackets, you can see that I have completely blank HTML, but you can see over here that I have the live preview. And we'll be using live preview just to see how everything works, right? So after that, I can use one of the brackets extensions, the HTML skeleton in this case, and I'm just going to say that I want a basic HTML skeleton. Now, I'm not going to go really crazy with these meta tags. I'm just going to leave them the way they are, you know, with a character set and with the viewports. However, over here, I'm just going to write English. This is going to be our language, and the title is going to be Responsive Website. That's going to be our name of the website. Pretty dumb basic. I mean, we could name it later on coffee because you're going to see that the whole uh, website is obviously about coffee, but I'm just going to name it Responsive Website. Now, what I want to do right away is actually link it to my main CSS. So I'm going to create a link over here, and I'm going to say that Relationship is going to be a style sheet over here. And then it's also going to have a href attribute and it's going to have a CSS, main CSS, right? So after we have done that, let's actually have a look how we can add font awesome to our website. Now, if we go over here to our good old friend Google and uh, over here, we would write font awesome, something like this, font awesome. And we obviously uh, open up the first first one that it's out there, first link that it's out there. And over here, we're just going to make the screen a little bit bigger. And you can see that we have a couple of options, right? We have a star uh, option, we have icons. Now, before we do the star option, let me just show you what happens with the icons. You can have a bunch of icons. And if you click anywhere over here, you can actually check it out. What is the syntax and how you, you can actually, if you want, you can just copy and paste this. And there's obviously a bunch of cheat sheets that you can find, you know, if you're looking for something, you know, for names and all that. But what we're interested in for now is actually get started, right? So if we click a link, they pretty much saying us that the uh, first, the, actually the easiest way is to use this CDN that they're, that they're offering. So what you would need to do over here is uh, type there your email address. And they obviously would use, they would send you this link that you can just add to your web page and you don't need to download something. Now we will going to be downloading. So I already downloaded. So you can just press over here, download. And what happens, they send you pretty much a zip file. You're downloading a zip file. And once you open up a zip file, you have a font awesome over here, this folder. And what they're telling you is that you need to actually copy this um, folder to directory into your project. And obviously, then we're going to be using this link. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to copy this link. I can right now close this one out and actually make this again uh, bigger and probably this one I would want a smaller a little bit so it's not messing with our view and over here what I would want to do is actually create a link again and I don't need to actually create a link I just copy the link so I'm just going to paste this over here and I'm going to close it out and over here I would need to say the path to font awesome right so over here what I'm going to be doing I'm just going to create I'm going to delete this over here and I'm, what I'm going to say that this is going to be font awesome 4. Point, uh, whatever zero something, right? So now you can see that we have a font awesome over here. And what we would want to do right now is actually have a look whether we actually have it, right? So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a span over here like this. I'm going to create a span element. And I'm going to say that class is going to be, let's say, uh, I don't know, far, far home, right? 
over here and you can see this little icon I'm gonna zoom it in so we can see better so we have font awesome right so it's added to our page so it's really easy for us to start working so let's go ahead and actually let's start creating our uh, nav bar <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,